I'm back on my bullshit. Y'all know what's going on. I'm gonna be doing a review on Elva Elva hair wig. That's why I'm over here looking like Mega Mine and stuff because I'm trying to get my hair ready. My birthday is coming up. It's in two days and I have to start preparing for everything that I'm trying to do. I already opened this box. <laughs> Cause I was excited. I had to see what I was working with. You know what I'm saying? So I already opened the box and it's a little raggedy or whatever because I messed it up. But basically, and I opened the hair. Um, it come, Your hair comes in here. I put it in here like this. It's going to come in a little bit. It's going to be a little looking a little bit better. But I did this because I had to put it back in the packaging. Whatever. So comes in comes in this. And then they give you a, a comb. And they give you an elastic band so you can sew the band on the wig because some people like that extra security. The wig already comes with um, the little clip thing in the back. I'll show you in a second. And then it comes with wig caps, which is amazing because I don't like buying these. Um, and then it comes with comes with promo codes um okay so what i got was i'll put the link in the description of the type of wig that i got but let me read it off of here for y'all so i got a pre-plucked body wave brazilian remy hair 13 by 16 lace um 130 density swiss lace it is the color number four. I got it number four because I'm, I'm going to bleach the wig and then I'm going to dye it burgundy. So, because that's the color I wanted for my birthday. Let me show y'all what the wig is looking like. I'm going to do my very best to record me dyeing the wig because I'm not a hairstylist. I'm not a cosmetic a cosmetologist or anything like that but and I don't customize my wigs like that. I don't really you know i don't know i'm just not good at this stuff so i'm gonna just do my best to record everything and show y'all how i dyed it and how i styled it or whatever and if y'all like it y'all can learn from me because honestly i'm learning from y'all i'm learning from the people on youtube so this is the wig Ooh. This is the wig. Ignore my no edges. Like, everybody know I'm bald. If you don't know, now you know. Um, so, this is the wig. You can see, like, I got a 20... What inch? I didn't tell y'all the inches. I got a 22 inch. They did not have a 24. I think it was sold out. So, yeah. The hair... The hair, I have another wig from Elva. It's the one I've been wearing in like the, um, the Tress Oryx video. No, I lied. It was all a lie. It's the one I wore. I don't know that curly one that I wore. I, I don't know. Anyways, I got another wig from them. That one is cool and everything. You wet it and it gets wavy or whatever. This one, honestly, I'm not really, it's a little, it's not as like, I don't know it's not as soft as I would like for it to be like I would like for it to be a little bit softer um the color I actually really like the color if I wasn't dying it I would have no problems wearing it like this but this is what I was talking about when I said um it still comes with like the combs and it comes with the little the clips because this how this all I need is these little two clips right here to get through my day without my wig being snatched off so I only need because that. I'm doing the up and down style I want to I want my hairline to look as natural as possible because I don't want it to just look like a rainbow <laughs> it's sitting on top of my head with a ponytail at the top I don't have time for that I'm just gonna take my time with this wig I'm gonna pray over the look that I want. I'm just gonna do the best that I can with what I have. I'll do my best to show y'all um, me dyeing it and me customizing it and all of this stuff, but I'm really not good at that. I'm already stressed out about making sure that it looks as good as I need it to look and then to record it too. So just bear with me if that's not presentable then i'll just show y'all the after result and i'll talk to y'all about how i feel after i've dyed it and styled it and everything so just stay tuned for that let's get this party started <laughs> 
This is the bleach that I'm using. I think this is a bleach. Yeah, okay, cool. So it come with a little scooper or whatever. I think the beauty supply. This don't even look like, I feel gypped. This don't even look like a lot of bleach. I feel finesse. Oh, wow. My lawyer like that. I got this from Amazon, y'all, because the beauty supply store. Ooh, I need gloves. Um, the beauty supply store is closed, I think. So I had to order this shit off of Amazon. I forgot to put on my gloves. Don't get caught slipping. This is supposed to be this. Now I don't know what the hell it is because I got it from Amazon and this is clearly rigged. Because I know, do it always come like this? I told y'all I don't do hair. Hell, I don't know. Then I got 30 volume developer. I didn't want to get 40 because 40 turns really fast. And I didn't want to get 20 because I didn't want to be here all day doing this. Now, I watched YouTube videos or whatever. And they told me that you want it to be the consistency of like um, icing. So, I'm going to do my best to get this stuff to be like the consistency of icing. I don't want it to be too thick. I don't want it to be too um, too thin. If it's thick, it's, it won't penetrate. If it's too thin, it's going to seep through. I don't, you know what? I'm dying it, so I really don't think it matters if it seeps through like that. But I just don't want to mess nothing up. So we just go. I'm going to do a little razzle dazzle, you know. Now let's see. I'm a, I should have got like a... um. Something else to mix this with. I'm using this to mix it with. See, this is a little bit too powdery. Hold on, hold on. We getting somewhere. Hold on. Yeah, I need just a little. I probably need some more bleach too. <laughs> See, I'm inhaling these fumes. Okay, see this, this is like the consistency you want it to be, is what I was told. This is like a icing, like it's like a, you know what I'm saying? I probably need more, hopefully I don't, but I'ma just do it. I'm only doing, I'm only doing like this part of the wig. I'm not gonna do the back and all of that stuff. I'm only gonna do the, the visible part that people are actually gonna see. Like where the baby hairs and shit go. Or if I need to part it, it could go like right here and still look natural. So I'm only going to do that part. And then they said you don't want to, they said you don't want to press it in so much. So I'm just going to lay it on the top. I feel like I want to do this on my wig head so bad. I'm just going to lay it on that thing. You know, huh? Just. I'm not gonna, I'm not pressing hard in here because like I told you, they said don't do that. They said to just spread it on there. So that's what I'm doing. When it's done, I'll show y'all how it look when I wash this out. Okay, look y'all. So as you can see, it's kind of turning yellow or whatever orange i think it's supposed to do this but you know i think i messed up because look at this look at this look at this i dyed the hair with it too but it's okay because i'm dying the hair anyway but if you don't plan on dying the hair just make sure you don't do what i just did anyways i'm about to wash this out See, the, this is so bleached. <laughs> I don't know if I did this right. Okay, but it's all going to work out. You know, variant. Because that's what I did. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. Okay, whatever. We go work it out. We can work it out. Definitely not for me, dog. Now look at this. Okay. So it's kind of, I don't know. This is not the finished product anyway. So don't judge me based upon how I bleached these damn knots. But let me rinse it out with the little tresemme or whatever. I'm just going to dye it. I mean, I'm going to bleach the whole head. And then I'm going to 
um, dye it after that. Okay, what I did notice is that the hair does shed, so I don't particularly care for that. Um, I'm about to dye this shit. And I'm really scared, y'all, honestly, because I don't know how it's going to take to the dye. Um, but, and it's also thin. Okay, so this is what I forgot to tell y'all. They had another one that I liked, and I was going to get that one, but it was thicker than this one, and it cost more, so that's why I didn't get it. I was being cheap. Back to over here. I'm doing the same thing that I just showed y'all with my gloves. I'm doing the same thing that I just showed y'all um, previously. Only difference is I'm just not going to make it as thick. It's not going to be like icing. It's going to be like... It will be watery. We'll see. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit more watery. All that other sugar coated in water. Damn. Mm. Ah. Oh, shoot. My bad. My Ooh. bad. Mm. She done wasted the 30 view volume developer. It looked like somebody even skied it on my cover. That's how I look, guys. I'm just gonna do, I'm putting it on. Look, it looks like it's changing colors already. Hell. You just wanna mix this in thoroughly. You want it to get in there because you're dyeing it and you want it to get on every strand because you want it to look natural. So, this is pretty much all I'm gonna be doing for probably the next five. 16 paranoia filled days later. 25, 30 minutes. And then I'm just gonna let it um, sit for about 45 minutes. Um, and then it's gonna turn blonde or whatever the fuck color. Blonde, yes, cause I'm bleaching. It's gonna turn blonde and it might turn blonde faster than I anticipated because it's um, brown hair and not black hair. After that, I'm gonna put the color on i'm gonna put the the burgundy color that i want on here and then after that i will style it okay so next time y'all see me i will be adding the um oh let me show y'all because i gotta put foil you want it to heat up like you want the it to heat up so it can change colors faster so you gotta put um foil or saran wrap or a dryer or something like that i know i said i don't know what i'm doing and i promise y'all i don't i'm just trying to sound as professional as, as do. possible um and then i'm just combing through it because i just really want to make sure that the dye gets see this that stuff i don't like I'm just trying to make sure that the dye gets dispersed in there um, good. I mean, I keep saying dye. I mean the bleach. Next time y'all see me, I'm going to be putting a color on there. This did not come out the way that I wanted. I wanted it to be a little bit, um, a little bit lighter. However, I don't have no patience. So, it just is what it is right now. I'm about to get ready to dye. I have these colors. I actually, this is cellophane, I think. See how it says semi-permanent? I don't think this is real dye. Whatever. I'm going to do intense red 71 and I'm going to do um, lavender 90. So I'm just about to use the same thing that I use this. Um, what the hell is this? This little brush and then this mixer thing to basically distribute the dye onto the wig. I can't record that right now just because like i'm kind of freaking out and i will have to have a setup and i'm kind of in a hurry because i have other things i need to do today so i do apologize about that but i am gonna like i said show you the final result of the whole thing at the end 